Hey guys, this is Tony Paradis with Food and Fitness. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also check out my website, which I'll link down below, at foodandfitnessonline.com. Today, I want to take a quick moment to talk about the pendulum of fat loss. And this is a concept that we need to have if we really want to have long-term success. And something that I think a lot of you guys who are classic yo-yo dieters will be able to relate with when I talk about the extremes on this end. So what I want you to do is I want you to imagine your progress and your results and the behaviors that are involved in that is like a pendulum, like the, uh, like the kind that swings from a grandfather clock. Okay, And we have different magnitudes of which this pendulum could swing. And once we get further out toward extremes, what happens when the pendulum swings really far one way? It always swings back the other. Okay, and so the same thing is going to happen. We have different habits, we have different behaviors. But what we want to do is we want to keep the pendulum in what I call the sweet spot. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the ex the extremes and the sweet spot and how to tie this into uh, your life and what's going to work for you. So first of all, let's talk about the goal that most of us want, which is fat loss. And what do we most often find find ourselves doing that never works? Uh, first is strict elimination, so we're removing entire food groups, maybe we're trying to cut carbs all out together, that's an extreme. Uh, excessive exercise, we go from not exercising at all to trying to set a goal of like six or seven days a week for an hour, that's another extreme. Unrealistic expectations and unrealistic timelines. I couldn't tell you guys how many times I have a client that comes in that wants to lose like 20 pounds before vacation in like two months. Okay, we need to have realistic expectations of not only what is possible, but what's realistic for us. Uh, negative body image, so if we're obsessing about the scale, if we're just constantly beating ourselves up for the way that we look, that's another extreme. And also looking for quick fixes. This may be a, surgi a surgical procedure, this may be um, a supplement, a pill, something like that. Once again, we're going to extremes. So what happens when the pendulum swings one way? to an extreme on a fat loss, well we get over to a weight gain. And so an extreme over here would be if we strictly eliminate, that's going to lead to a binge. If we excess if we exercise excessively, that's going to probably lead to either hating exercise or a long term period of sedentary activity. Uh, unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment. Negative body image can lead to body image disorders and even eating disorders if they continue. And then finally, quick fixes can lead to health issues, something we just don't want to get into. So constantly, I see so many people do this. We, we work so hard and we push so hard and maybe for a few days or a few weeks, even a few months, we get these drastic results, but the pendulum always swings the other way. And we gain the weight back, usually more than last time, we end up loathing exercise even more, and we end up being even more disappointed with ourselves. After time and time again, the cycle continues. So what do we do? The next time we try to lose fat, we push even harder, and the pendulum always swings the other way. But there's a solution. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the concept of moderation. Now you've heard this before, it's nothing new and exciting, but it's what works. So hear me out. When you want to use moderation, you keep the pendulum swinging in the sweet spot. So this is going to be something like an appropriate amount of calorie cut, an appropriate amount of exercise, a healthy body image, and setting positive and appropriate goals for yourself. And if the pendulum ever does swing the other way, we want to do it in moderation as well. So have those treats, make them planned. You know, have. Uh, a day of the week that you have some extra treats or work them into the amount of calories that you have. Okay, Plan breaks. Maybe you want to go on vacation, take a break from exercise. Let's have a plan break rather than burning out. Okay, Good health and a good, a good body image with yourself. So, when you, when you use extremes, the pendulum will always swing the other way. Okay, This happens with anything in life, but especially true with fat loss. If you keep it swinging in the sweet spot here, you have what I call a lifestyle change, which is different than a diet and something that you're going to be able to see permanent and lasting results. So keep that in mind next time you set out to uh, use a fat loss program or an exercise program to um, change your weight, change your body image, and to do something positive for your life. Keep it out of the extremes and keep it in the, uh, in the realm of moderation.
My name is Tony Paradis. I'm a licensed dietitian and personal trainer, owner of Food and Fitness. Once again, check out my website down below at foodandfitnessonline.com. Please like, please share, and stay tuned because I'll have more videos on the way. Thanks.